Hi, I'm Helen from the Unicorn Factory and for today's embroidery essentials we're going to talk about the times you embroider onto things, onto practical items that get lots of use um, and show you how to protect them and make them durable for that everyday use. Um, sometimes we embroider onto things that we want to use ourselves or give as gifts. So for example, some of the things I've embroidered onto, uh, there's this tote bag here, a uh, zipper pouch, and I actually use a different one of these for keeping my embroidery kit in so it does get a lot of use. Um, and this technique um, has just kept it looking as good as the day that I first did it. Uh, you might want to do tea towels that you actually want to use. Um, and in this case, I'm demonstrating on a cushion cover that um, I've just embroidered for my patron stitch along. Um, so I'm going to show you the really quick, easy and very inexpensive way that I use um, to make sure that they're more durable um, and will last a long time, even when, like I said, like with the zipper pouch, even when you're using them every single day. All you would need is your embroidery project and turned inside out or back to front, making sure that the back of your stitching is showing because that's what we're going to be applying our cotton fusible to. You need a piece of cotton fusible that is cut to size to cover the back of that embroidery. Um, I use the um, Pellon Shape Flex SF101. Um, I'll include that in the details below. You also need a damp tea towel and a iron that is on the wool steam setting. So I've got my steam there ready to go. Now, if you're um, worried about this moving when you're going to do it, you can do an extra step of pinning and just ironing um, gently around the edges to sort of baste it in place before you fix it permanently. I don't tend to do that. Um, so far it seems to have worked without taking that step and I'm all for minimum fuss, fuss or faff and doing it as quick as e and easy as possible. So um, I just go straight to the part where I make sure that it's centered over um, with, I meant to say, um, so make sure that you've got the fusible side facing down onto your stitches and um, your the side that feels like cotton is what's facing up you put your damp tea cloth tea towel or cloth over the top and then i know roughly where the edge is and i'm just going to place my iron over the top of this for 10 to 15 seconds and thankfully, because I'm filming, I can actually see on my phone when 15 seconds is passed. Um, but you might want to count or just have a little timer on the go to see to make sure that you're leaving it on for about the right amount of time. So that's the first go. And then I'm going to move it over and it's slightly overlapping with where I did it before. And I'll leave that again. Another couple of seconds and then I'm going to do it one more time right at the end just making sure that I have covered off the whole piece of the shape flex. So then you just need to let it cool. I can see as soon as I pull it up that I have managed to actually catch the whole thing because I can see from these lines have overlapped. So I know that I've um, caught it all um, and I'm just going to let it cool for a few seconds but I can already tell that it has stuck to it really really well. And the final step is just turning it the right way around and just give it a very quick very gentle press over the top 
and that's you done um now you have something and that will protect your stitches stop them from moving and it is going to be really durable and last um, a nice long time even if it's something that you use every day And here's the finished cushion on the chair, ready for use without me having to worry about the embroidery getting damaged. Um, if you wanted to stitch this embroidery pattern, it is available to my patrons. Um, I have an embroidery tier, they give it a go stitches. So I'll include information in the link below if you want to have a go at that. Um, if you have any questions about um, what I've just shown you, then do leave those in the comments below and I'll get back to you. And if you want to keep up to date with what's going on, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and you can give us a follow over on Instagram too. See you soon.